Hey there, this is Jeff with Splunk, and today I'm excited to show how generative AI applications can gain insights from Splunk using our Model Context Protocol, or MCP, server. MCP is an emerging industry standard that enables large language models to interact programmatically with tools, data sources, and APIs, empowering intelligent, automated workflows. We'll assume you're already familiar with the basics of MCP servers. If not, I'd recommend checking out some resources online to get oriented. Now let's dive into what Splunk's implementation can do. For this demo, we're using Claude Desktop as our AI assistant. It's a great example of a tool that supports the MCP standard and can be easily configured to work with Splunk. While Claude is our demo client today, the architecture is flexible, allowing integration with any MCP-capable AI assistant, including proprietary systems built by your organization. Let's start first by clicking on the Search and Tools button, where you'll see our MCP server is already configured. It provides a set of powerful tools that the LLM can invoke during inference to interact with Splunk data. Some examples include listing indexes to understand what data sources are available, retrieving knowledge objects like save searches or macros to better understand how Splunk is configured, and of course, running Splunk searches to extract live insights from the data. Okay, let's walk through a quick example of Claude interacting with Splunk using the MCP server. We ask a simple question, what data do I have indexed into Splunk? Behind the scenes, Claude evaluates the requests and invokes the right tools via MCP, starting with Get Splunk Info to gather environment details, Get Indexes to list configured indexes, and then finally Get Metadata to identify the source types across the system. It then synthesizes this data in response with a clear conversational summary. This is a great example of how the MCP server bridges natural language and operational data, enabling real-time programmatic access to Splunk through AI. It's fast, contextual, and incredibly powerful. Okay, so let's shift gears to the configuration now, starting with the MCP server-side configuration, which is done in Splunk. The first thing we're gonna do is create a role, and this role must be named MCP underscore user. It does not need to have any capabilities. Once we create the role, we're then going to create one or more users who are going to inherit this new MCP user role. In this case, I'll arbitrarily call my user MCP user one and assign the MCP user role. Once that's done, I will create the user. The last step in the process involves creating an access token for this user to use. So we'll create a new access token assign it to our new user that we just created, MCP user one. And here the audience must be MCP. We create the role and now we have access to our token, which we're gonna to copy to use later in the client side configuration. Keep in mind that similar to usernames and passwords, authentication tokens grant you access to Splunk and should be treated securely. Okay, and let's wrap up the configuration on the client side, which is done in Claude's settings. Under the developer section, you'll see that our MCP server is already configured. In order to do this, we click edit configuration and open up the Claude desktop configuration JSON. You will see that our JSON is in there where we specify the MCP endpoint URL as well as the MCP token that we just created. And that's it. The only question left to ask is how are you gonna use the MCP server to become more productive? Happy Splunking.